The next drill is for block protection or block destruction is going to be station number six, which is called button press. Here, the defender is now going to move about 10 yards down the field, and he's going to meet square up. So this is the complementary to the first drill that we did where we were in a lock fit position. And now we want to see if our defender can use his hands. One of the keys to this drill is having the blocker move forward towards the defender, just like in a game, and seeing if that defender has the ability to get his thumbs directly in the center chest plate of that blocker, and then also be able to lock out and at the same time peeking so that they can find the ball carrier, get off the block with an escape technique, and then make a good and solid angle tackle. As you'll see on the video of our young men demonstrating this drill, you'll also notice that there are a few ways in the escape procedure that they can use and how they can get themselves out of trouble. Let's take a look at the videotape. This technique is called drive, well fit and drive. And the reason for this is as you get closer to the ball carrier, there will be guys that are in our way. A lot of players want to run around blocks. We need to shock and lock this player, a bully technique some coaches call it, find where he's going and then rip off of that and make the tackle. Let's take a look at what the drill looks like. Punch, lock him out, ball carriers go. Good, go. Okay, if you notice, on player one, he's got such a big guy in front of him, he really needs to keep his hands on the man, okay? Don't peek with the entire body, and he's going to come off a little late, but that's better if he keeps driving him back than trying to pick a side look, because now he knows that the ball carrier is going that way, and he's kind of dead meat, all right? So we can't really have that. However, if that does happen, I'm going to give a little insight into another technique that we use. This gentleman's bigger than me. Okay, I really can't see, so I peek. Go ahead and make your break that way. This guy's going to now try to block me. What I'm going to do is push, and I'm going to swipe with my nose across the top and get flat, and then meet him or head him off at the pass, so to speak. All right, so that's a technique that you can use to get yourself out of it if it didn't work the way it goes to plan. All right, let's execute this one more time, fast speed. Go. Good, much better. Now, we haven't talked too much about the tackle, so let's bring up one of those ball carriers real quick while we got it, and let's talk about the angle tackle. Most of the time in football, you're not going to get a head-on crunch, especially on kickoff. So the little coaching point that we want to do is as that guy is, let's angle towards the camera. As that guy is angling towards the camera, I want to always keep my back foot one step on top of his inside foot. Keep walking. As I do this, I want to throw my hands, but the key thing is, is to get that back foot in front of him so I can squeeze his hip and drive him away from where he wants to go. The little simple thing, if I don't do that, go and just keep walking, and I now throw my hands, keep walking, don't stop, and now I get my foot back, I'm in a dragging mode, and now you're going to have problems. So when you really watch the tackling, watch the lock of the hands, watch the pull on the waist, but more importantly, watch that front foot gaining ground on this guy in front. So now you're attacking and he's not.